there are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. Here's your weather video for this Thursday, October 22nd. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. Here's the upper air pattern across North America on this Thursday, showing uh, we've basically got uh, a developing trough. Uh, it's been there over Canada and northern tier states, but it's sort of concentrating its power um, today over the uh, northern Rockies, and uh, that may eventually spell the beginning of regime change, but high pressure remaining in control over the eastern United States. And you can see the uh, outer influence there of um, Hurricane Epsilon, which became a major hurricane uh, yesterday southeast of Bermuda. These are temperature anomalies. Uh, from yesterday afternoon, temperatures across Alabama running some 10 to 12 degrees above normal for this time of year. So it's been uh, sort of summer-like across Alabama without the extreme heat that we see uh, July and August a lot of the time. So that's been nice for sure. Here's the surface chart this morning showing a stationary front lying across the Ohio Valley this morning to the north of Alabama. Stubborn high pressure remains in charge. It's centered over West Virginia this morning, ridging down into the Smokies and into the Appalachians and the foothills in northeastern Alabama. There out to the east, you see Hurricane Epsilon. Still a major hurricane this morning, uh, turning more to the north and northeast over coming days, but it will pass within about 200 miles of Bermuda uh, Thursday evening. That'll be tonight. The week's just flying by. Um, tropical storm warnings are in effect for the island they will experience 30 to 40 mile an hour winds at least with 45 mile per hour gusts um, as the hurricane passes to the east of there, but they shouldn't have major impacts. Now, we're going to use the European as our model of choice to tell the weather story uh, in it today, uh, and there will be some divergence at the end. We'll talk about that at the end of the period, or at least toward the end of the next seven days. This is today, though, showing uh, basically uh, a very warm moist air mass over Alabama. Some clouds, uh, you know, kind of breaking out the saturated air mass, resulting in some patches of low clouds and fog this morning in areas. Those areas staying cloudy. And uh, correspondingly, a little later to warm up as we go through the day today. But by the end of the day, most everyone should be in the 80 to 84 degree range. Now, I think we could see a few light showers, kind of like yesterday. They were not really important or you know not much to write home about but we could see a few of those today particularly over southeastern sections uh, maybe over northwestern sections of alabama too some hinting at that and then i think overnight there might even be a few light showers but again rainfall coverage will be spotty rainfall amounts will be light now by tomorrow we're going to be watching a front to the northwest this front moving our way um, at, Air mass still over Alabama, very moist and humid, warm. Uh, we could see uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms developing, uh, especially by afternoon areas northwest of I-59, continuing into the evening hours. And I think that uh, rain mass, you know, thunderstorms will sort of die out, but some rain will slide down into uh, northwest, north central Alabama during the overnight hours. This is uh, somewhere around 4 a.m. on Saturday morning. And so some showers could still be continuing as we get into Saturday morning. And as the front tries to push in uh, to no avail, uh, the high pressure ridge will just be too strong. Additional showers and storms could develop during the day on Saturday. I think by afternoon they'll shift to areas east and southeast of I-59. But it should, uh, should still be a warm day on Saturday with um, partly sunny skies and those scattered showers and thunderstorms around. Um, the front will make it through to some degree by Sunday. Um, there's still some uncertainty about that. Um, I don't have a map here to show you that, but some scattered showers could still be hanging around on Sunday. Maybe isolated is the better description. Lesser coverage will be warm temperatures in the lower 80s and a mostly dry day on Sunday. Then by Monday, looks like really we could really be dealing with a dry day. Uh, no chance of rain at that point. And that makes sense from the forecast that we're uh, promoting right now. Warm again, humid with highs you know, in the 80s. Um, this is late Tuesday afternoon. You can see 
sort of organization of activity to the northwest of us as another front tries to get going. Here in Alabama, though, we've been dry all day. Um, I think we um, are back in the 80s again on Tuesday. And then there's some discrepancy. This is um, the European uh, pushing that front on through on Wednesday, Thursday. We're kind of high and dry. It's got a system out to the west of us. Uh, but at the same time, the GFS has that system uh, displaced much further to the east, low pressure over southwestern Missouri, northwestern Arkansas. Well, really, I guess the low is somewhere near Cape Girardeau in southeastern Missouri. But um, we've got cold front, rain, and thunderstorms into Alabama on Thursday. We'll have to kind of resolve these differences as we go through time. But the general idea is that by Friday, that system, whichever system uh, and the timing that it will exhibit will be through Alabama, will be setting the stage for a cooler and drier weekend. This is um, out on Election Day, November the 3rd, showing uh, still tranquil weather across much of the United States, no real problems, no adverse weather expected in anywhere for voting purposes. And uh, I'll go out to the end of the period and focus on the uh, Caribbean because the GFS has been consistently hinting that we'll see Uh, Fairly substantial tropical development there uh, that first week of November. This is the end of the period, so we don't know where this goes, but it's been tracking westward at that point. Um, So it be interesting to see if there is a system in the Caribbean and uh, where it would end up. Uh, Climatologically, it probably would go across Cuba and the Bahamas. I guess some chance that it could continue westward in the Caribbean, uh, the chance it gets in the Gulf is almost minuscule. But we'll have plenty of time to watch it. Uh, don't forget to check out Weather Brains this week. We had a great show with our old friend Betsy Kling and Mike Farrar talking about modeling, weather modeling. A very important uh, thing to us is obviously we talk about it every day here and uh, how it's going to uh, be changing in coming years, uh, both in the United States and around the world. Weekly netcast all about weather. It's Weather Brains at weatherbrains.com. Well, that's your weather video for this Thursday, the 22nd, uh, we're on vacation schedule today, so this will be the only video of the day, but we'll have frequent uh, updates throughout the day on the blog. We'll have, of course, notes on this forecast and any changes that we make, and updates on Hurricane Epsilon throughout the day. But until I get to do this video with you again tomorrow, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.